Hey everyone, Fred here at Path and Engineering. We're going to do a really quick question for you, or a quick example on how to calculate a cross product. So this is going to be a part of your questions that you're doing in physics, first year university, even high school stuff, you should have done this already. But if you haven't, use this as a review. All right, so let's get started. In the green box, I have a, uh, a product with two vectors here. Okay, I have vector A and vector B, and we want to find the cross product between these two vectors. All right, so the way we calculate the cross product is as follows. So we're going to draw our determinant out here, okay? And we're going to go I, J, K, all right? With two big lines there. And we're going to take our first vector A, okay? And we're going to write our position vector. We're going to write the coordinates as follows, just like I did there. Second vector B is going to go right below that, perfect. Nice and simple, okay? What we're going to do, when we want to calculate the I component of our cross product here, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that the column, okay, below this I component here doesn't exist. We're gonna calculate on this box over here. So these four numbers, two, five, three, six, and we're going to multiply the top left corner with the bottom right corner, okay? So we have I times, uh, this is the I component, okay, is going to be two times six, and we're going to subtract, we're always gonna subtract, and then I'd like to put another bracket here so we don't get confused with the signs because that's the, really the trickiest part here. Okay, and we're going to multiply five times three. Okay, so the, the most important thing now to remember is that when we're calculating the J component next, we subtract. We always put a negative sign in here, that's the formula, okay? Don't forget that. So we have J, now we're going to eliminate the J column here, and we're gonna deal with one, four, three, and six. Okay, so one times six minus four times three. Okay, I'm gonna come down here, and then the third component is going to be a plus, a positive sign. Okay, so we have K, eliminate this column here. We have one times five minus uh, four times two. Okay, and if we come down here, all we need to do is evaluate inside these brackets here, all right, and we can go ahead and find the cross product of these two vectors. So we have 12 minus 15, okay? That is going to be, is equal to, so we have the i component here, which is negative 3i, okay? Then we're going to have, we have 6, okay, minus 12, all right? That is going to give us a negative 6. That's going to be times a negative, so that's going to be positive 6j. And for our k, we have 5 minus 8, okay? That's going to give us a negative 3 Okay. All right, and that is our cross product. So simple as that, you know, it can get a little bit more complicated if you have negatives in here. Always remember, include this little bracket here like I did in the first question and uh, you should be able to avoid a lot of uh, sign errors that, that, that can crop up. And also remember that the J component is always subtracted. Thanks for watching, quick video here. Stay tuned for more.